from the way this question has presented the information to us and we are supposed to find the position vector of m, I think most students will end up using the ratio theorem. But we have discussed this kind of question before and we know that applying ratio theorem is not going to be a consistent enough strategy because sometimes ratio theorem works well and everything seems fine, but many times it actually leads us to a set of solutions that is even harder to solve and it is potentially very, very confusing. So we want to avoid this kind of inconsistency during the exam and especially when a similar question actually appears in the A-level recently. So we really want a more consistent strategy and the strategy will be to form equations of lines that intersect at M. So what we are going to do is to form the equations of the line that passes through BC and another line which is a line that passes through AD and we're going to solve them simultaneously to find the position vector of M. So let's start by looking at the line that passes through BC. I'm going to first find vector BC, which is going to give us a vector that is parallel to this line. So vector BC is going to be OC minus OB. OC is going to be 5 times of OA. So it's going to be 5A minus away OB, which is vector B. So we can now quote the equation of the line that passes through B. C. This is going to be R is equal to, since it passes through the point B, it will be equal to B plus lambda of the vector that is parallel to this, which is 5A minus B. And we're going to form the equation of another line that passes through AD. And let's find first the vector AD, which is going to be OD. OD is 2 times of OB. So it's 2B minus away OA. So the equation of the line that passes through AD is going to be R is equal to, it passes through the point A. So it will be A plus mu of 2B minus A. And these two lines intersect at M, which means that at the point M, they are going to be sharing the same R. And now we can solve this as a pair of simultaneous equation to find the position vector of M. So I'm going to match this to this, which means that it is going to be B plus lambda of 5A minus B. Then this is going to be equal to this. We have a, a plus mu of 2B minus A. And what we are trying to do now is to solve for lambda and mu. And to do that, we have another process. The process will be to regroup the left and the right hand side to consolidate the coefficients of all the vectors A and B together. So for example, on the left hand side, to consolidate the coefficient of the, co the coefficient of vector A, it is actually just 5 lambda. So I'm going to write down 5 lambda, 5 lambda A plus the coefficient of vector B, it is 1 minus lambda of b. I'll do the same thing for the right hand side. For a, it is going to be 1 minus mu. This is the coefficient of a. So 1 minus mu of a plus for vector b, the coefficient is 2 mu of b. And what we're going to do next is actually to match the coefficient to the coefficient of the corresponding vector a and vector b. So for vector a, we will have a 5 lambda is equal to 1 minus mu. This will form for us our first equation and that will be 5 lambda plus mu is equal to 1, equation number 1. Then matching this to this, we have a 1 minus lambda is equal to 2 mu and this will give us a lambda plus 2 mu is equal to 1. This will be equation number 2. We have a pair of linear equations that can be solved simultaneously using the graphing calculator. So of course, we should use our calculator. So from our graphing calculator, solving for lambda and mu, lambda is going to be equal to 1 over 9 and uh, mu here is going to be equal to 4 over 9. And now we can code the, co the position vector of m by making use of either lambda solving back into this equation or making use of mu solving back to this equation. It should, they both should give me the same position vector for m. So let's make, just make use of lambda. I'm going to sub this back. Therefore, O m is going to be equal to b plus lambda of 5a minus b. So O m is going to be equal to 5 over 9a plus 8 over 9 of b. 
This is our answer, but let me explain to you something about the process that we are using here, okay? Because some of you probably will find it strange. Why is it that I can just simply match coefficients, you know? Because when we are solving for um, our normal equations, right, we don't usually try to match the coefficient on the left hand side to the right hand side to solve for the coefficients or to solve for unknowns within the coefficient. So why is it that it is somehow applicable to a scenario that is like this, where we can actually just match coefficient to coefficient and this to this. In order for this to happen for this vector scenario, we need two conditions. The first condition is actually already given to us by the question, and it is this. A and B, they are non-zero vector. There's a second condition. So in order for me to explain to you this second condition, I